Good afternoon, countrymen and women. My heart bleeds. My heart bleeds in that when we went to the elections, one of the things that were promised was the rule of law. One of the things that were promised was the rule of law. And let me say this without any malice, that I have gone through a lot of political persecution. I have gone through a lot of political persecution and a lot of bad political decisions to the extent that I was moved, removed out of parliament by a wrong ruling by the then speaker of the National Assembly. The court ruled that the speaker had overshot his boundaries by declaring my seat vacant and that he should have left the interpretation of the law to the judiciary. I am so disturbed and disheartened that history has repeated itself. A wrong that was committed on me condemned by everybody including members of parliament for the then opposition united party for national development that the speaker should have not ruled in the manner that he did and truly the court vindicated me vindicated all of us that the speaker had overshot his boundaries. Today's ruling, where the speaker said that members of parliament who have been nullified and pending appeal to the Constitution Court is a repeat of what had happened to me. And for me personally, I would not want anybody to go through what I went through. The persecution that I went through being thrown out of parliament on political lines by a wrong decision of the speaker, I wouldn't want any Zambian and anybody to go through such. That is why I've decided that let me make this point very clear. The constitution in Article 73.3 states as follows. A member of parliament whose election is petitioned shall hold the seat in the National Assembly pending the determination of the electro, uh, uh, election petition by the Constitution Court. This means that when you file your notice of appeal, it means automatically that appeal acts as a stay of execution. It's provided for, not under subsidiary law, but by the law of the land, the supreme law of the land, which is the constitution in Article 73.3. It is therefore wrong for the Speaker of the National Assembly to state and make a ruling that all those MPs that are pending appeal should not be in the House. Madam, I respect you a lot. As a prominent lawyer of this land, please do your job devoid of politics. What I'm seeing is that you seem now to be consumed with political inclination. That is wrong. The National Assembly, Parliament, must be completely separate from the executive. And the decisions that Parliament makes must be sound decisions that will stand the test of time. I appeal to you, madam, to rescind your decision 
where I come from, they say, Tapawan Sony. If you've made a mistake, you just say sorry and rescind. Don't wait to be embarrassed by a court ruling the way your predecessor was embarrassed by the court ruling. I have every confidence you can do the right thing. And I want to appeal to the clerk of the National Assembly. The lawyers at Parliament, there are a lot of lawyers at Parliament, please, this is a very straightforward interpretation of the law. This thing has been done deliberately. And if there is a political hand in it, I want to say that, please, let's learn from history, discard bad practices, and embrace good practices. This decision is a disaster to our democracy. This decision is a disaster to our democracy. 